What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time, we met Solomon Reed, aka Idris Elba, who has now just been in contact with the president and trying to get her back to Washington, the DC. Um, and he's going to give us a call at some point. Wait two, d uh, two days for Reed's phone call. Look for extra, uh, extra gigs in Dogtown, which is optional, which is what we're going to do. But we do have some um, points to actually spend here. Um, so let's... We were starting to work towards technical ability last time because we wanted to go down the all thing cyber so we can get some uh, stat modifiers so we can get better slow-mo and all this kind of stuff. And I kind of go down the... Uh, like this kind of route because I feel like we've got most of what we need. Um, like reflexes, they're cool. Kind of going down down this route. Body, we're not really doing it. Like anything body uh, skills. So let's get additional point on tech. We may as well put the. Th oh no, I don't have a third point. But we do have three perk points available. Uh, capacity cost for cyber and, and skeleton. So let's go for this. But then we've got minus 5% incoming damage to all uh, integumentary system and skeleton cyberware slots are filled. Four cyberware capacity for each attribute at nine or higher. All cyberware gain an additional stat modifier. And 25% crafting components from looting. Hmm. Let's put that in there and then maybe... All cyberware get an additional stat modifier. Because this is going to take us over here. When upgrading cyberware, you can choose from two stat modifier options. A third option is available at tier three and higher. So we get to choose what kind of stuff. So maybe we go along this. So that's that in there. We did get a, a side mission last time from uh, Hans, right? <coughs> um... If you call me, it's a talk to biz, I don't do chit. Our Dogtown streets can run rather narrow, though not to European standards, mind you. You'll require a suitable vehicle, which one I'll happen to arrange for you already. Collect it at your leisure, you're very welcome. I think he's giving me like a little truck or something. Everything's smooth sailing so far, but the hardest part's around the bend. I'll buzz you when we into Dogtown. I don't forget to watch your back. Still a lot of hands of each We just kind of need to have a look around now. And we got ourselves a new vehicle and we're in a hostile area. What is this place? What's this? Anything, anything. Miltech software. But hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon or evening. Oh, this is the uh, the relic points. This one we got last time, wasn't it? The Mantis Blade one, where we got the leap, yeah. To release and perform long range attacks. Date when an enemy is affected by mono wire. We're not using mono wires, are we? Blades, here we go. A shockwave from a charged gorilla arms attack now knocks down all enemies within a range. All leap attacks with the Mantis Blades now cripple enemies and increase dismemberment chance against those enemies for 10 seconds. Ooh. Emergency cloaking improves optical camo cyberware. Activating optical camo during combat, pressing the middle mouse button can cause enemies to lose track of you. With vulnerability analytics during combat, you can now detect vulnerabilities in enemy armor and cyberware. His invulnerability gives you 100% crit chance, 25% armor penetration, weak spot damage bonuses. Dealing enough damage to a vulnerability will cause it to explode, generating an EMP blast that damages enemies within a three meter radius. Ooh, I think I want to go for the decapitation one. This one. Since we are hacking and slashing. Just kind of get out of here. Gain access. 55, 7A, 7A, 55. 55, 7A, 7A, 55. 55, 7A, 7A, 55. 
These guys hit hard. Holy crap. for this shit. All right. That was a little messy, but oh boy, did them guys pack a bloody punch. I'm just glad we took that uh, big guy out with the uh, finisher. I've got to be honest with you. There's a couple more over here. Right, the option now is to either wait two days or we just have a browse around. Oh, that was Johnny. Not going to lie to you. <clears throat> Can we just drive out of here or not? That's not my car. Huh? Hmm. Okay, and they're not friendly. Hi there. Hmm. Three opens in the right. Thanks for dropping by. I had a really good time. Thanks for inviting me over. I had a nice time too. Your family's awesome. 
Oh, this is where it was uh, the family. Like the whole uh, Fast and Furious bloody episode, that series, wasn't it? That episode. Uh, Jess says, hi. You have no idea how nice it is to see her smile again. Thanks for everything. Should be come over soon. Next time, I'm buying dinner. Yeah. Buying dinner. Oh, that's the new vehicle we got, isn't it? That one. T400. Let's see what it's like. They are strong. Can't put any mods on them. Come out, damn it. Was there anybody? Oh, there's my vehicle. The vehicle Mr. Hans gave me. What the hell is this? <laughs> it is tiny. Like a, a sh bloody shoe. Right, we need to find somewhere that we can rest or wait for a couple of days. Actually, who's this? Kerry's calling. Kerry, hey. Hello, Kerry. You got plans this evening? Kids. Go to Dark Matter on Woodland. You might not know the place. Don't really advertise. Well, what's the occasion? Us cracks. We never celebrated our little victory. Go around back, tell the bouncer you're with me. I'll let you in, no problem. Don't be late. All right. Oh, that reminds me. We actually have a mission, don't we? Off, um... What's she called? Um... Uh... Got a bloody name. That's a fun summary. It's tomorrow never knows. Find out all the tower graffiti in Dogtown, which we have been doing. Uh, that's Kerry. Yeah, Judy. I guess we can go and see what Judy's up to. Because the last time we spoke to Judy. There was a... Uh, a lot of sadness. Right? So let's see what she has to say. Whoa! Hi, everybody. Yo! Skedaddle, Joe! Hi. <clears throat> Back in Night City. So what she got in store for us? Judy? 
Judy, 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 Judy. Na, 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 na. Judy. I guess we'll wait. <clears throat> what are you wearing? Oh, Maybe. you want us to go scuba diving, don't you? All right. After all that went down, I thought you and I'd be ancient history. Don't be a gunk. Any news from the Moxes? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes is all. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. Got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. Huh. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it? Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. <laughs> what do you say? You in? Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. The hardware? Huh. Have I got a. Oh, I was gonna say. This is my scuba outfit. All right, suit up, landlubber. Do this often? Diving? As often as I can. Why'd you choose this of all places? Why? Don't like it? It's okay, but any special Get reason you chose on this you. one? Of course there is, but you'll have to wait to find out what it is. You look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. <laughs> Don't go there, dude. Uh, uh, uh. All right, Hello. let's do this. Here, just freezing ass water. Right. Here I come. I don't even know what we're doing. I don't know what I've got myself okay. into here. We're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Exactly. About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. 
She's got a torch. Pushes are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs. They're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. <laughs> Whoa, you see what I see in real time? Like what I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. And I gotta say, it's pretty fucking weird. Visual sensors are getting stinned right now. Can't be denied. To think I never realized how fit you were. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Great, motion calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. No idea what the song is, but I heard it. Go something like. What are we doing? Down we go. Where are we going? Are there any big fish? Is this the old city? Impressive, huh? Yeah. If you said we'd see a sunken town. This is the old world. Like it? Dunno. Sure as hell never seen anything like it, can tell you that. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just fifteen years ago people still lived here. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea it just felt weird. At least I've got a torch. Eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burger 
fingers weren't amazing, too greasy, big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. You like it? You kidding? It's awesome. It's a weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? Nah, not much. Family gatherings were great. That's where we even got real fish. I like sin's fish more though. Real fish is just too stinky. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no fish here. Here, take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. No, Follow I'll, me. I wanted, I wanted to pick up that thing. A woolly hockey stick. We looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. It feels like we're outside of time. Like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. Is this a church with a tower on it? Big antenna. <clears throat> no, she's just swimming. I should be looking. Imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mm. Bottled water? <laughs> Touche, Judy. Touche. Gotta say, I don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. Good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. What, this isn't yours? So it is yours. No. It was Jenny Chapman's. Who took her doll? As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Yeah, dolls are a little different now. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid, your daily life grinded along. <laughs> Can imagine it a bit. Sure 
which hasn't aged at all. Always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear them. I don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously, you can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. That's weird. That's why I'm hearing all these signs. Uh, the Closed. these sounds. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Did you like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know. Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? Look around. I'm not seeing another way in here. Unless it's on the roof. In the steeple, maybe? Or with a massive water tank was crashed into it. Yeah, there's no way I can fit through there. I found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Hey, found a way in. Through the roof. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Stapler. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. You didn't get chased off? Ran out myself. Echo, oh. I got back, scared me. The chase sat me. Thought about that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out. Flew right back in my face. Ah! I am. What happened? You passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. Not really. so, Johnny. You're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end <laughs> bad. <laughs> Shut up. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You... heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a... complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat, too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Sure. Why the hell... not? Whose cottage is that, then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but... Then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. Fries? Must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? 
Uh, with milk and sugar. Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Coffee too for me, please. Ah, forgot to start the generator. <sighs> Why is it there's always a generator? I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. Okay. Me. Yeah. What an incredible dive. Doesn't get more relaxing than that. Speaking of harm is away. Know what I see in the beginning. Walking, talking, corpses. Power's up. You go that way. Don't sit here. So be careful. Judy? Wait, what? That was Evelyn. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. What? Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. Hmm. I think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. <clears throat> Grab some meds. There's like a big, uh, big bed in there for it, to, for it to lie on. That's you and me below. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of all, doesn't she? Mm. Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. That's my plum. Wakey wakey. Oh, she's there. <clears throat> Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Morning. Finally. You know, yesterday, I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. Oh, she leaving. City's chewed me up. And spitting me out. Fuck, Judy. You're saying you want to leave. Now. You know, I had this bizarre convo with a doll. Told me I had to fight, and I thought, fight for what? 
And now, just when I thought I knew what it was all for, friendship, trust, you're telling me you're leaving. It's not like we won't keep in touch. Give me your hand, B. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, you're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Sure about this? We haven't known each other that long. I like you. Consider you a friend. The way I see it, there's nothing else to consider. Take care, B. This really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I'll see ya, Judy. Well, Night City beat Judy. I, I think that's gonna maybe the story arc complete with Judy now. I do want to know because like we heard Evelyn in her thoughts, so I feel like there's some things left undiscovered. <clears throat> so maybe like the same thing that she's done with us, like where we can hear the thoughts, she can hear Evelyn's, but from the dead, maybe. Well, it's kind of confusing and cool. Right, so Kerry wants us to meet us as well. Wait, he's quite far away. Where's my vehicle? Did not mean to bring my knife out. Oh, it's behind. Right, let's go meet Kerry and see what he's got for us. All right, so this is where we're meeting. What's he called, right? Hello? This elevator is out of order. Sorry. Out of order for Kerry Uridine's guests, too? He's expecting me. In that case, enjoy your evening. Why, thanks. Uh, let's go speak to Kerry. See what he wants to do. I'm gonna guess it's like the whole band thing, or maybe this whole electrical bloody nonsense he's going up against. That was a long elevator. Oh no! He, he Wait a minute. The last time we spoke with Kerry. He was with that K-pop group. What do I... What do you get through here? Oh, my. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Right, we'll see. Simple. Rock's not dead. Hey! <laughs> God damn it. This is V, my uh, right hand. V's the little bird that shows up when I gotta wrap up and run. Sorry. V, V, quick question. What's it like hanging with Carrie Uridine, a living legend? Off or what? Well, as you might imagine, it is legendary. But the juiciest details I keep to myself. 
Thanks, but I really gotta run. Late for my next thing already. Let's go. Unless you feel like giving a few more interviews. Love at first sight, huh? Many different kind of loving. And different <laughs> at the beginning. Bloody hell. Hey, come with me. I want you to meet some. Who is it? Who is it? V. Spectre. His old friend. Met him walking in Memphis. Off beat. Ages ago. Hey. He's got cream stuff. Give your friends and family discount, too. Of course, Mr. Uridine. Special rate for your friends. Let's see what you got. Ah, you can talk biz later. Come with me. I want to show you something. Congrats, Care. Decent show. Now that that's behind us, what's Kerry Uridine's next mission? Hit on Kovacek? Very funny. But yeah, not about to let him get away with it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But the bastard's gonna regret making me sign those papers. You try to get out of that deal with the label? Ah, let's be real. Say I break contract. Then what? Who's gonna release my new tracks? Who's gonna deal with distribution, promotion, influencers, media? Labels have got them all in their pockets. You're out with them, you're out, period. Well, you'd be free. Seriously? Free to sing until you're blue in the face, nobody hearing a thing? It's just another kind of cage. Hmm. Show you one of my favorite spots in Night City. Don't come here often, but when I do, it's important. Should I feel special? Maybe. <laughs> I feel like his story arc is going to complete soon as well. Told him to shut the place down for the day. <sighs> Can't get enough of this view. Oh, he's done Love it. Love looking at this city from above. Damn. Well? Only place you fall asleep thinking you're special, then wake up knowing you're no one. Carrie, I can see something's eating you. Keep thinking about our conversation at Caliente. Us cracks, you and the slaves to the corpo grind. Mm -hmm. Guess I wasn't completely honest with you. Or myself, for that matter. Talk to me. See, thought I was afraid everybody think me another corpo slave. But I was just afraid I'd be in someone's shadow again. Again? Lived in Johnny's for years. Part of the scenery, machinery. Helping him shine brighter. Never believed I'd make it on my own without Silver Hand. That why he left Samurai. Fuck. Ah. Uh -huh. Johnny figured you chickened out. Couldn't take the pressure, so you left Samurai. Yeah, I know. But he was wrong. Decided to start fighting for myself. Still keeping that up. Night City's a city of shadows. Done everything I could to walk clear of them for years. Fuck. It's time you stop being afraid. You don't need to be. Think you can drive the shadows away? You'll be fine. Without me, too. Fuck. Yeah, I sure hope so. Yeah, we should get back. No one downstairs is waiting. For you. I know, I know. In the knock back a few to this town tonight. And me in it. But I'm gonna stay up here a bit longer. Go ahead. Okay. See ya. Yep. Oh, Reed's calling. Hey, I'm back in town. What's your status? My status? No real change, I suppose. That is time we got down to work. 
Gotta find our missing friend. Had another pair of eyes. Alex, former team member. She's in Dogtown, under deep cover. She'll help out. Roger that. Got an address? Longshore Stacks, a dive bar called the Moth. After sundown, yeah? Got it. And senses trained on any potential shadows. All right. Well, let's head back to Dogtown and head to the Moth Bar. <laughs>